Hi guys, so this is our Lekker roof cutting saw. So all our materials coming from down the bottom, all the Lekker GRP profiles get brought in, slid down this ramp here, uh, marked off at the lengths that we need. And at that point, we then use the saw to chop the materials, put the right angles and everything on there. Um, and then literally from that point, we take them uh, over to this area here and we prep them with the brackets and we do all the little bits and bobs that you need do, uh, doing on these beams, all the marking out. This is our Lekker on Pinnacle build floor. So all the roofs that we need to manufacture, any P shapes, uh, anything with a valley or possibly a hip end lean to where we need to just make sure that the bars and everything are working out. We build them on the build floor here. Uh, we put them up and make sure that they all work so when we drop them and wrap them all up and you get them on site everything works and you've got no problems on site then once we start cutting the uh, materials we then take them over to the other side of the factory where we prep them up and make sure that everything's all right and mark and obviously prepared for on-site fitting put them with the chop saw and then take them to the prepping area and then everything once it's been prepped gets wrapped up and sent out on the van. This is our CNC cutting table where we cut all the insulation, the top boards for the Lekker roof system that we do. Uh, we cut both uh, top boards and insulation on the machine. Uh, we use this um, for cutting PIR insulation and EPS. And once the machines cut the shapes out, we put a sticker on that and then it goes over onto the pallet for the roof that you obviously uh, you're getting along with the top boards that go on top of that. And then they're all packaged up with the tiles and wrapped together. This is the tile cutting area for the Lekker roofs. Uh, we use this area to cut uh, all the shingle tile. So on this bench here, we mark them all out, uh, then package them up in these packs here, ready for to be installed on the conservatory. So when you open these packs, the first tile that comes out of the pack is the first tile that you need for your conservatory roof. Uh, and then each one sequential after that will be the tile that you need next in order along the roof uh, pl plan that you're doing. Uh, once they've packed and wrapped, they go into the stage area with the insulation and the boards, and then we get them on back of the, the delivery vehicle and they're all sent out together. So this is our packing and picking area. So anything for a conservatory roof that goes inside the box uh, literally gets picked in this room. So we're talking about the gutter components, uh, the cleats, the screws, all those type of things. We pick them from the stores, they get put onto the table where we take a picture, uh, make sure that we've got proof that we've put everything in the box for you. And at that point, then the box is sealed up and put outside in the, uh, the staging area to make sure it's ready for the van. Uh, but yeah, we keep a lot of stock in on all the different profiles. So we store um, guttering in both OG and square line uh, for both roof systems. Yeah, so um, we can we can really uh, give you as many options as you want. So this is the area we store our finished like a roof profiles. So once they've been cut and prepped and marked out for uh, marked out for installation, we uh, we hang the the job board up. We're here and all the uh, the profile is stored ready for the van to be loaded on the day that it's, uh, it's going out. We're usually about two to three days in front with our deliveries. Um, so obviously we should uh, have a lot, quite a lot of things stacked up in here. 